when you come to come out tacos, you come just for tacos. You don't come for comfort. You don't come for like a, you know any kind of restaurant amenities. Um, you're here for the tacos, and you eat tacos any way you can. We're at Avenue 26 Tacos in Lincoln Heights. Over the past few years, this taco spot has amassed a large following, sometimes having lines around the block. Look how crazy it is over here. I come here about two to three times a month, I'll say. I'll make the drive out here from the valley all the way here just to get some tacos. I got apastor and I also got buche. So this one's the buche right here, but the apastor I already ate. <laughs> Javier from LA Taco is gonna be joining me and we're gonna find out why Avenue 26 Tacos are so great. We are at Avenue 26 Tacos. It is arguably one of LA's most famous taquerias in the street. We are in the neighborhood of Lincoln Heights. They've been doing this for a long time. They've been doing this for in over 15 years, um, and they've been consistent about it. Their taco is suadero, which is braised beef brisket, almost like carnitas, but it's beef. So I feel this spot fulfills the need of, you know, when, when you have friends who don't know about this spot, you bring them here and you tell them, hey, I know this like secret spot, and it's, you know, it's hidden, it's not on the main street, and so it, it's just, it's a, it's a thrill. It's a certified taco thrill. Now, because of the, of the, the tacos, there's, I think, seven vendors, everything from like churros to esquites, to uh, pizza now, like brick oven pizza. So it's a uh, it's street food city. So usually when you see a flat side grill like that, they're usually gonna have the the standard, which is suadero, um, al pastor. And they're gonna have tripa, buche. Tripa is the intestine. Buche is like the lining around pork belly, and they'll have some version of a carne asada that will be grilled. So that's kind of like the general LA style of like street tacos um, that had, that started like in like the 80s um, to late 90s, um, and that style is, is really iconic LA taco. All right, you wanna get some tacos? Let's go get some tacos, man. Let's do it. Taco life. <laughs> so what I look for in a taco is the swoon factor is what I call it, right? Like that, mm -hmm. like that taco euphoria that you feel when you get a bite, you know? So you get like a nice tender fatty meat. People forget that a tortilla amounts to 50% of a taco experience. Don't forget that like a, a taco cannot be a good taco without a good tortilla. Yeah, but I also look for like uniform textures and like onion, cilantro, to see that it's limes and not lemons. There's a lot of little factors that account in like the overall taco experience. So just off the bat while we're waiting in line, like what tacos are you thinking about getting? So I'm for sure gonna get the suadero because that's that's what they're known for here, and it's an actually, it's actually a taco that's relatively hard to find in LA. Um, you're not gonna see it everywhere. Again, it's it's a braised beef brisket. Um, and fat, and it's like it's just slow and tender, and and, uh, and it's delicious. I'm also gonna get al pastor because you have to. I like to call that a category F5 meat tornado. Ahí me das uno de de suadero, Robert. Can I do the one that was your favorite? Can I do the intestines one? And let me do uh, pastor. And uh, what was some other? What did I miss? Uh, that, that, suadero, suadero. Suadero, yeah, suadero. Yeah. And you know what? I'm feeling crazy. Let's, how many did you get? I got four. And I got four? Yeah, I got four. Okay, okay. so we'll go with that four. Let's do it. Okay. Gracias, eh? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's, a, it's a dollar. It's like the best deal in LA. Yeah, you kind of cheaper. Thank you. So, if you're in the know, you go and ask for a potato. And yeah, they... this thing over here, it's like cooking oil, right? Or butter or lard? What is that? Some people use lard, some people use oil. Okay. That's if they, if they give us their secret. But they drop in a potato in there, okay. and it just like cooks until it's buttery and I want one. like beautiful. So I want a potato. let's get a potato. This is why this place is special. Like there aren't many other places in LA that will like, give you a freaking potato. If you're here and you're happy to spend like a dollar per taco, and you get a potato while you're at it. So the, before we eat, I know we're starving, but yeah. there's one final touch that if you see it in a taqueria, get it. It's like the caramelized onions that are actually fried or grilled in, it, in the own beef fat of okay. the actual tacos yeah. or the pork fat. Not all taquerias have it, but if they do, just go and get it. And it's, it's, it's right here, yeah. So yeah, it's, 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 it's literally like caramelized onions or grilled onions that like, I mean, raw onions in a taco is amazing, but but grilled onions, you know, it just adds another layer of richness to it, you know, like. Um, do you see. normally put like salsas, uh, salsas of course, or sauce? A taco, or a taco without salsa is just 
Was that a stupid question that I just asked? <laughs> I think that was a very stupid question. But don't worry, man. Okay, good, right, it's right, good, right. It's good. Yeah, right. Before we add any salsa, uh, definitely get some limes uh, to to make sure that the lime juice actually hits the meat and the tortilla before the salsas, because you know you get more flavor that way. Okay. It adds a little nice little layer of like refreshing acid, you know, like what you need when you when you're eating these fatty meats. Uh, and that, last but not least, because vegetables and fiber, baby, um, you know, get some radishes. You know, I I, I I like to get a couple just just to, just to say that I've had some vegetables today. Oh, okay. Um, you know, get like a nice little handful, and you also put some lime and salt on those, so you kind of, so you, you kind of create a quick pickle. You know, you got You got to get a, you got to get some fiber in your body somehow. You know, so my rule of thumb is when all else fails, green. Okay. Because green is acid, tartness. If you can't hang any heat, usually the watery red ones are always going to be like the best for you. Watch out, watch out a little bit of heat. Um, put it on this one. Yeah, normally a taqueria will always have green, red. And ataque de guacamole, which is like a thinner, a thinner watered down guacamole to have it be more saucy instead of gloppy. Sometimes the, the guacamole replaces the green salsa, or sometimes the green salsa replaces guacamole. Um, yeah, that's it. And then we're ready to eat, man. So. All right, let's go eat. I'm starving, dude. Let's go. <laughs> Some people eat it um, inside of their car, sitting down in, in front of the, of, of the steering wheel. Others put like prop the food down on the, on the, on the either in the hood of their car and just eat like you know. You have to have like that 90 degree angle down, yeah, you so you don't like so you don't get any salsa all over you. Mmm. The potato, you know, it's been simmering in that oil for a while. Mm -hmm. California used to be part of Mexico, and, and some people say that it, it never stopped being Mexico because sure. the, some tacos, like the tacos that you get here, are so delicious and so close to what you would actually find in Mexico. Rule number one of finding good tacos is actually stopping and trying them. <laughs> well, that's, that's a good point. Because there's so many here in LA, your first uh, reaction to when you find a new, when you drive by or walk by a taqueria, is you you look it up online to see reviews or something. But I'm telling you, screw all that. Just stop um, and have a taco and see if you like it personally. And like you'll be surprised. Sometimes sometimes you'll find some some great spots that haven't really been um, you know written about or celebrated as much. Street food in LA is there to serve its immediate neighborhood. And if you're lucky enough to drive by or walk by and you find and it smells good and it and it looks good and you see a, a crowd of people around it, stop by and try it. That's, that's the best way you're gonna find out yeah, if it's good. The first taco that I always get at a spot that offers it is cabeza because you can really learn a lot on, on how, they, how they treat their cabeza. How's that? Cabeza is like, you know, steamed cow head. If you don't know what to, if you're indecisive, I usually always go for cabeza because it's, it's, uh, it's hard to mess up and it's like, who doesn't love like just tender stewed um, braised meat with salsa? Suadero is like the hardest one to find um, in LA. It's like carnitas but with beef. So it's like slowly braised um, in lard uh, until it gets crisped up and it gets tender. Um, and that's really hard to find. So that's actually really good here too. Just two months ago, um, in 2020, um, they finally legalized street food in LA. Through lots of outreach, people in LA who love street food got together and they fought for the rights of, of street vendors here. It took like around a decade of like, of work to work to the bureaucracy of the city to finally legalize street vending in LA. If you come to LA, like some of your most happiest moments that you'll probably, or most memorable moments that, that you'll have when visiting the city is like, probably will be tacos after a show or like a bacon wrapped hot dog after, you know, like when you, when you come out of a concert and you smell like the smell of bacon, like, like street food is so essential to the city. And it took this long for the, for the politicians to finally realize that and, 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 and try to make change and make it legalized. So. People love to come to a taqueria and like uh, fulfill their, their need of, of like a nice, greasy in a good way, just rib sticking taco. Mm -hmm. And these tacos fulfill that because it's, it's a lot of meat. You know, the salsa bar is like there for you. You can put as much as you want and suffer as much as you want. Mm -hmm. And I think the number one thing uh, about it is like people love the concept of a dollar taco. And yeah. this is one of the last standing taquerias in LA that mm -hmm. still charge a dollar for taco. Mm -hmm.